today I've set up my 3D printer station. Uh, it's in this enclosure here because the fumes can get pretty awful. And coming out there I've got an inline pump and when I'm printing I hoik that out the door. Be good to drill a hole for it somewhere but we'll see how much you use it. And here we've got the actual printer. It's behind this zipper. It does keep the fumes contained quite well. Um, so there's the printer and in the printer there is also a little odor absorber sort of air purifier thing. I've got my resin tanks in there. At the back I've got some power which is coming in from here. And then over here I've got sort of a, a curing cleaning station, well cleaning station I cure in my office. So I've got the uh, various resins, some IPA for cleaning in these two little tubs and a few little tools tucked away in here. So I use the um, soft silicon spatula for cleaning the equipment and a glass cleaner works quite well, it's recommended to me on YouTube. I use nitrile gloves for absolutely everything. I never touch this stuff barehanded until it's cured. Uh, I never touch the resins barehanded. I was a bit cavalier when I first got the, got the gear, but I've learned a bit about printer safety. And I always put paper towels down underneath what I'm doing. And I've got this drawer here. So I use the microfiber cloths for cleaning the stuff as well. Um, don't leave any scratches on the FEP, which is the little bit on the bottom of the uh, printer tubs. So I cut those up into little chunks. That was another tip I got off YouTube and use those. And then I take stuff in the house. Uh, once it's, you know, been cleaned, I either dry it in the sun or I've got a little UV torch. I'm still not really sure how long to cure stuff for, but yeah, it's coming out all right. Here's the first thing I've printed. He's been um, washed in IPA and then scrubbed in an IPA toothbrush and then rinsed in IPA again. He's then gone into um, under a UV lamp and just a little box with silver foil around it. Um, I don't really know how long to cure things for. People say various numbers. I gave him about a minute and turned him over and gave him another 30 seconds and he seems fine. I think he'd like to go for a swim because it still smells a bit of IPA. So, Whee! Pretty cool, isn't it? It's all articulated, like. Let's have a look at his little face. He's smiling. He's happy to have been printed. I'm going to go and give this to my kids. So excuse my workbench being a mess. I'm currently rejigging my office workspace, but it's just like I have this box with foil in it, and I have a little UV lamp. I stick it in the top of the box and turn it on and then cure the model in there just for a minute or so. When I was first doing it, I was doing it for like 10 minutes and they were coming out a bit, a bit dried out. And I should probably make something better than this, but uh, you know, it's doing all right. Fortunately, our little friend still smells a little bit of the resin. So what I've done is I've popped him underwater. This is to get rid of the oxygen, apparently. I got this off some thread on the internet. I've got the, the UV light there. Let's cover it up so I don't particularly want UV light all over my face. Pop it on. And see the glow there, so it's uh, we'll give him a little while in there and see see if he if he cures up a bit better. Well, he's been curing for about 20 minutes, so I took him out, he's still whip whiffy. So I've created a post on a forum, and let's hope somebody smarter than me can get back to me. I have heard the curing underwater helps, but uh, so far no good. So not gonna give it to the, the boglins to play with until I know better.